Being in Atlanta in 1966 as a black man was something that was very complicated and, and, and full of a lot of pitfalls. Yeah, I believe I heard him say that it was about $100 that brought him, that made the difference and, and brought him here to Atlanta. As opposed to the Giants. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, again, we are watching what looks like the, the processional beginning. We know this service was set to begin around 1 o'clock, and so it looks like they're fairly close to uh, being on schedule right now with what appears to be the processional. Um, we have heard the, the organal prelude that has been going on, and, and you see a lot of empty pews there. That is because they are trying to be respectful of COVID-19 guidelines and protocols. You see the masks on people right there. We understand that they will be trying to maintain social distancing. And prior to people entering today, there were temperature checks that were being taken. We know that we have already seen Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, as well as former mayor and ambassador Andrew Young. We have also seen President Bill Clinton. And again, we are starting to see more people who are arriving into this sanctuary here at Friendship Baptist Church. Right there at the uh, front of your screen there in the glasses is Dusty Baker, who is uh, the baseball manager of uh, Houston Astros, former star player with the Los Angeles Dodgers, one of the closest friends to Hank Aaron anywhere. Dusty Baker has led an amazing baseball life as a player, as a manager, as an influencer, uh, as a social pioneer as well. And uh, he spoke yesterday um, via tape. He was unable to get to Atlanta because of connections. But he said it was impossible for him to comprehend the notion that Hank Aaron was no longer here, that he looked forward to seeing him in heaven and that just really didn't want to think about a life without him. There's Alan Tannenbaum right there, his longtime attorney and agent and confidant. Bill Clinton, as you can see, with his uh, mask on, standing at the podium as we are just minutes away from this beginning. And Jeff, you see the large A there, the Atlanta Braves A, uh, done up in flowers right there at the front of, of the sanctuary as well. Again, it looks like a large amount of um, the people, we understand that they're about limited to about 50 who will be in attendance today, but slowly making their way into the sanctuary. There are pictures that are being shown in a video format over on the screens on the sides of the chapel. And again, we are expecting to hear from a lot of people, including grandchildren of Hank Aaron. We'll hear some reflections and remembrances from those family members as well. And, uh, you know, during yesterday's memorial service out at Truist Park, we heard people say thank you for sharing Hank Aaron with us. And I think that that is just a, a special thing for a family to hear that we know when we recognize that you did have to share this larger than life figure with the rest of the world. And they thank them for that during that, that, memorial, was, that memorial service yesterday. Yeah, you're right, Jennifer. You know, everybody has a story. I, I have my own stories uh, over the years of interactions with Mr. Aaron. Uh, in uh, the early 1990s, I, I was asked to, uh, on, on behalf of the governor, uh, to present the 20th anniversary proclamation of the state of Georgia to Hank Aaron at a downtown Atlanta hotel. It was April 8, 1994, exactly 20 years after hitting 715 at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. And the proclamation I had to read in public. And the proclamation looked like the Magna Carta. It was, <laughs> you know, it spoke of his accomplishments. So I was reading it and reading it and reading it. And I look over my shoulder, I hear someone laughing. It's Hank Aaron who was laughing and says quietly, hurry it up, Jeff, hurry, <laughs> hurry it up. <laughs> and, and such a great sense of humor. You know, he was always had self-awareness that, you know, he was not regal in demeanor. Uh, he was just like everybody else in many ways, and that was part of his allure. Yeah, let's take a few minutes to, to listen in on that service right now. Peace, I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth I unto you. Therefore let not your heart be troubled, and neither let it be afraid. For who shall separate us from the love of Christ Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, as it is written, 
For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor death nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus for the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such that be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. And I saw a new heaven, said John, and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and he shall be their God. And God, God, God's self, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. There shall be no more sorrow. There shall be no more crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne, he said, Behold, I make all things new. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and Hank shall be my son. You may be seated. <laughs> 